please stop. It, it, just tell me the truth, man. Please stop with the nonsense. Please. I mean, I really don't have no say about what I said. Right. You're, you're going to stick to that story. Right. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you for a minute. Let me talk to you for a minute here. Jomuel Lozano Martinez was placed on the Wisconsin's most wanted list for having fired four shots at a fellow driver while on the highway. Allegedly. In a bout of road rage, Jomuel had pulled up parallel to the driver who had angered him, attempted to force the driver off the road and into the median of the highway. Upon failing to have forced the driver into an accident, Jomuel then pulled up to where he was on the left side of the victim and fired four shots. Again. Allegedly. Unfortunately for Joe Muell, the victim survived and gave the police a detailed description of the man who had attempted to kill him, including a description of the man's characteristic neck tattoo and the car that was being driven. The car was eventually located and Joe Muell was apprehended. The victim picked Joe Muell out of a lineup, but there was just one problem. The victim had described the perpetrator as having long hair, and the man who was apprehended by the police had short hair. It must have been one big misunderstanding. Let's see if the classic good cop, bad cop routine can figure all this out. Well, that's not hers. <laughs> that's not. That's my partner, Detective. I'm Detective Gills, my partner, Detective Lorette. How are you doing? You good? Yeah. All right. So, so we, we want to we want to talk to you about uh we want to talk to you about an incident that happened in Fraser. But before we get to that, I just want to get some um, some background information first, okay? I'm leave me alone right now. Um, are you working right now at all? Hmm? Are you working at all? Say so, yeah, I was, but it was all like like on the table job. So, so you don't? You, yeah, no, no. Okay. Man. Just when, what were you doing when you were, what were you doing? Just on uh, junking cars, like junk buying, car. buying junk cars and scrapping them. Okay. Towing. What's the last grade you completed in school? 11. Here? What yeah. school did you go to? Oh, South Division. South Division? Wait, what year were you there? See, I got kicked out in 2012. Why did they kick you out? Huh? Why did they kick you out? Because uh, my, my last year, I wasn't really, like, paying attention to school because I had a job, too. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, I would just go to like the afternoon, then after that, I was gone. You just kind of doing your own so thing. So they, they just dropped me out because my grade wasn't good. I get it. Emergency contact person, something happens to you, wants to give a call? Oh, uh, shit, my mom. Your mother? Yeah. And you got a good phone number for her? Yeah, 414. 414. 241. 241. 8457. 8457, that's Beatrice. Yeah. And, uh,. She's at that address? Mm. Okay. And, and you were born where? Puerto Rico. Um, how long you been in Milwaukee? Uh, I'll say it's going to be 12 years already. 12 years now? Yeah. Okay. Um, what, 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 what kind of criminal history do you have, if any? It's just... Uh, Rest or convi actual conviction? Armed robbery. Armed robbery? Yeah. Anything else? No. no. Are you probationary? Mm -hmm. um, any gang group affiliations? Uh, used to. Used to, be, used, used to run the gang. Who used to run with? SGDs. SGDs. SGDs? What does that stand for? Spanish Gangster. Like, Spanish Gangster. Okay. Like, yeah. And you have lots of tattoos. Um, saying, yeah. Is that a Joker? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's on your forearm right there? Another, Another joker. joker. What's on your right forearm? Uh, right forearm. Uh, what's, that, what's that on your um, praying hands? Praying skeleton hands. Okay. And what's on your, what's on your fingers? Joker, what's on your, anything on your other one? Fingers? Anything on your other one? They're all professionally done, or just some dude? 
Uh, supposedly professional glasses. Some yeah, they look, that's they what I'm saying. They look good, but sometimes what's people, one? you know. Huh? What's that one? The wing, the heart, what love heart wings? Okay. Okay, in the past 24 hours, have you um, have you had any alcohol, anything to drink? Liquor. Say water. No liquor in the last 24 hours? Uh, um, can you understand everything I'm saying to you? Yeah. In the past 24 hours, have you taken any illegal drugs? Weed. Weed? How long ago? Shit. I say 3 in the morning. 3 in the morning? 3 a.m.? Um, in the past 24 hours, um, have you taken any prescription medication? Nah. I, 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 I use, do you have prescription medication that you're not taking? No. Okay. I hate prescription. Hmm. You hate them? Yeah. You. I rest my weight and take pills. Okay. Um, are you injured in any way right now? What? Are you injured in any way right now? Oh, no. Do you, so you don't need any medical attention at all? No. Have you ever been diagnosed with any mental disorder? No, I don't know. No. Um, do you? And again, do you understand everything that I'm saying to you? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you had enough sleep? How much sleep have you had? See, uh, three in the morning. Woke up like at nine, so. Nine. Did you get about six hours of sleep? Yeah. So, this is all you had to eat or drink today? You need another bag of chips? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. I mean, if you're hungry. <laughs> you want another bag? You want another one? Hmm? I'll get you another one. Is that what you want? Yeah. It's not his dime anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to see her, but I know that ain't gonna happen. Well, well maybe. Uh -huh. well, maybe take never care say, of you. Never say never. We'll look around. I don't smoke, but um, a lot of guys are. Uh, if not, if I can find something, else, I can. I can take care. Of you. All right. I want, to, I want to talk to you about an incident that happened on a freeway. But before I talk to you about that, I have to read your rights. You understand that? Yeah. Right, these, are your, these are your constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have, you have the right to consult with a lawyer before questioning and to have a lawyer represent you, represent present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at public expense before or during any questioning if you so wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop the questioning and to remain silent and, at, at any time you wish, and the right to ask for and have a lawyer at any time you wish, including during the questioning. Um, Waiver rights. Do you understand each of these rights? Realize that you have these rights, are you now willing to answer questions or make a statement at all? And if you want me to start asking you questions and you see if you want to answer, that's fine too. You can start asking questions. So you're okay? You, you want to start? And you understand you can stop at any time you want? Okay. You just got to give us a yes. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I want to talk about an incident that happened back in May 21st. May 21st. You remember the day? Wow. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, you, you saw it in the news? Yeah. You, so you saw yourself on the news. What did you think about that? Tell, tell me, okay, this is what I want you to do. Look, I'm going to be honest. Tell me, look, when, I see, when I see myself in the north, I'm, I was like, what the fuck did I do? Like, hold on, hold on, like, how, how am I getting accused of something that I don't even know what's going on? Like, I'm like to be honest, I was in the run because I don't have no money for a lawyer. Like, this is a serious case right here. I don't got money to file a case like this. Okay. Well, I, I, was, I was trying to collect some some money, but that shit wasn't even working. Every time I got money, I had to get pay rent. So what you're saying is, you saw yourself on the news, and that's the first year even hearing about it because you didn't have anything to do with it. So you saw yourself on the news, and yeah. you, you went on the run because you didn't have enough money for an attorney. No, I don't. I don't have no money for, for a lawyer. Okay. Because, for real, this, this is a um, serious case right here that that got Trump. Not, yeah. Just straight trying to accuse me of. Okay. But what did you hear about that case? Like, what did you, what did you, like the news article? Just kind of break it down for us. Well, I heard news, I heard uh, uh, that the shooting happened in Southbound. There's, um, yeah, I, I had a uh, great, great Honda. Yeah. My car got stolen. I tried to report it. I went to a district on 27th Street and 5th on Lincoln. Mm -hmm. 
and they both told me that I couldn't report it because the car wasn't under my name. But the title is under my name, and my ID was in the car. When when was the car stolen? It was stolen like a week before all that all that shit happened. Then I got it back. Then I woke up. I woke up one day. I go outside. I'm like, so I don't remember. I parked my car a little bit farther. So I go outside. I didn't saw it. That's when I did the report. Cause I, I went to a tow lock and some impound. And, the, and and I could have found it. When did you when did you try to report? When the second time? When did you try to report it stolen? I tried to report the the uh, same day I got I, I got it uh, the second time. Uh -huh. Cause I, I thought I thought I got it stolen again. Uh -huh. I'm like, no, nah, this shit cannot be. And happening. where was the car at? It was in front of my house. And where was that house at? On Thirty First and Scott. Thirty First and Scott. I right, saw so the car. You saw the car gone gone for the second time on Thirty First and Scott. And that, that's that's what that's when I that's when I was like, nah, they probably they probably impound or something. So I'm I'm gonna go to Tola. So I went to that. I went to Milwaukee Tola. Mm -hmm. I went to one on on. I think it was like half an hour from here, and some some other ones. They they told me. Okay. And I, and I even tried ask on the district like, hey, like, there's anything I can help me with? Cause I I even found it. Um, and this is all after. The suppose the the shooting incident. Yeah. After 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 all that shit, like, not 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 right after after like before I came in the news and all that shit okay. happened. My car got stolen, so I got it back with some different rings and everything. Cause I got I got a picture of my car with some with the original rings that I bought. Uh -huh. it some, I found it with some other rings, so I I got it back. I found it over here on the north side. I'm like fuck it, found it back. I didn't know. I didn't know nothing. Had, I didn't know shit was happening. So when I seen when I seen myself in the news, everybody was hitting me up like, "Bro, you in the news, bro. You in the news. What the fuck you did, bro? You in the news?" I'm like, "Hold on, what you mean? I'm in the news. They sending me all these articles about me. I'm like, oh hell no, like what the fuck? Like I haven't even done nothing, like." But if you knew that and you thought you're innocent, then why would you just turn why yourself? Why you contact us? I don't. I don't have. To be honest, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I was just in a room because I don't have no money. I was trying, I was trying to get, I was trying to at least get me a lawyer. So I, I could just turn myself in and try to fight the case. But I don't have no money for it. Cause well, I, know, that, I know that, I know that, I know I'd be wrong, staying in the run. I could just turn myself in a long time ago and could, all this shit could have been a boy. Well, I know, I, I know, I know that. Okay, well. This is this is this is part of what the problem is. What you're saying is you didn't know about it. Um, when you were, when your vehicle was uh, southbound I-43 from the high rise down to like Holt Avenue, some video. Um, yeah, they said that they got they got a video of of my car and they got a video of your car. Um, you were you were I mean th this is what happened. I got a really good description of the of the car and you, so I just took a chance. I just you hear me. I, I, I took yeah, a chance yeah, and I put and I put your um I put that information out uh, to just some of my coworkers. Ding ding ding! An officer said he had just stopped you in that car. You were stopped. What was it? Uh, within a week or so, you were stopped within a week in the in the car. And it wasn't stolen. It wasn't stolen. No, not you, not. you were you were you, were, you yeah, were the driver. But not 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 when that happened. No, it was I, 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 just I before. Got, I got, I, yeah, before. Right, you stopped just before, and uh, um, and it wasn't a no, it wasn't a week. It was like two weeks before that. Um, well, I got the dates. I got the no. dates. Um, and they they said you. They definitely said you were the well, driver. My car, my car wasn't wasn't stolen for that much. It was just a couple of days that my car got stolen. Cause well, I, I found it because they told me. Well, s second thing is this, uh, the person, the the victim. Got a great look at you. Describe you to a T. That's how. Uh, got to just describe you to a T. I know it's gonna be my war. I can't. I can't stand. I just need a lawyer just to fight this. Now here, bud. But, what, you know, what, what are you saying is they picked you out of a lineup. I mean, we're not trying to. We're not trying to. We're not. I'm not trying to fool with you. I'm not trying to pull any punch. I'm not trying to lie. It's kind of the the, thing, the fact. I, I didn't. I didn't shoot nobody. Like yeah. I don't have no gun. I don't. I don't carry no guns. So. out. Yeah, the car was mine. I know. I know that the car is still is still is still on the on the name. That's right. Still, that's still got it. But I mean, you were you were identified as via lineup. 
I mean, that's yeah, pretty I'm, That's pretty strong because you've got a very distinctive no. tattoo. I mean, it's not like, do you kind of see what I mean? It's not like you look, you know what I mean? So what they're kind of saying is another Hispanic male or somebody that, that you know, stole your car that has a tattoo, you know what I mean? That's kind of weird. The goatee, the way, the way you were facing him, could see the see the tattoo on your neck. That was that was the most distinctive thing that he could remember, other than the gun being pointed at him. And he described that kind of tattoo, dear clown. I mean, we're not trying to lie to you. Like I said, we have no, a lot no, of information. No, we wouldn't have got no, a warrant no. for your arrest, boss. Well, I mean, you because you knew right away we're we're looking for you. So that's 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 how we figured out he 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 picked you out. I mean, no no one else. It's yeah, your vehicle. I get, I, get, I get that. It's, I'm just gonna have to fight this case now. Well, that's, that's what I'm doing now. Well, we're trying to find out what was this a road? Like we're just trying to find out some the reasoning. Was this a, was this an road incident? Do you know this happened? cat? Do you know this guy where he, where he would have picked you out? Do you know was know, it a road rage? Was it some kind of confrontation prior off the expressway? That's we're just trying to figure out what would happen where it would have caused this. Because we don't we don't have your car being reported stolen. Because they never did. They 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 told me. In District 27, on 27th Street, mm -hmm. they told me they couldn't report it because the car wasn't on them my name. That's not true. If you got, if you're reporting a car stolen, you're reporting a car it's stolen. A, that's what, that's what I'm saying. I went to two districts. Okay. I went the one on Fifth and Lincoln, and the one on 27, and they told me the same. Like the car doesn't come up on under your name. Now I'm telling them like how it's not coming under my name. And the title's on them, my name. Right. Yeah, because if we run the name, if we run that car, the event, it comes back, it comes to, back you. to you. So that's, that can't, there, did the MPD screw up or the Milwaukee Police Department screw up? What I'm saying is that car has been in your name. There's been no, like when it changed hands, it, so if you would have gave them the VIN number and the plate, they would have known that the car was in your name, name when they ran the registration through Wisconsin e-time. But that, that's the thing. I, I had, I had a uh, parking ticket. Okay. They told me to try, try to find at least some information, so I got a parking ticket, and I took them to them because he had the place and that thing, and the mean number, and they told me the same thing, like, no. Do you know what officers you talked to? Because I talked to officers over at those districts. I think it was on, on Officer... On 27th Street? Um, they, this one, no, the, the one on... Gakko, I think it is. No, no, Okano. Gakko, Officer. Okano? Oh, some some oh, Connor? Connor? Because I, oh, I did oh, 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 I, I did oh, go over to the district over on uh that's the first place I went off on twenty seventh Street. Then I went I went actually went over to Lincoln also. No nobody referenced that uh anybody came in to try to report that vehicle stolen. They should they should have a video because I went I went in there. So they they should they should have a video. Cause and, I, I got I got and about approximately when you did when did you do that? The same the same day my car my car got got took it the second time the second time took it so it's after the shooting incident yeah because I I didn't, I didn't even know that shit no when when they took my car I didn't I didn't even came in the news because I didn't even know nothing okay well, you realize what you just said I don't know you just said um you went to the station after the car was taken the second time yeah the same day the same day the car got got took it. Okay, and that's that's when you tried to report it stolen. Okay, so it means you had the car before that. I had it. Cop I'm telling you, my car got stolen. Okay, I got it back. I only had it for a few days. And the police help you get your car back? No. How'd you get your car back the first time? Cause my guy helped me. They told me that they seen a car looking like mine on the on the north side. So I just I just went over there with my guys. I found it. I'm like. I didn't, I didn't I didn't thought it was a small car because he didn't have the rims. But when I went around and I seen that that little spot they got smashed, I'm like, yeah, they small car. Fuck, got found out on it on it to the nun. Boom. Second time, I try I try go to an impulse and I'm like, damn, like my car in here. Then I went to a district and like I'm telling you, I'm not lying. They they should have a video of me going in well, there. I was it just that honestly doesn't sound believable to me. It's like. That doesn't sound believable to me. It doesn't. Yeah, so I, I ain't got, I ain't got so, but the, but the thing is this. On May, 20, I'm, I'm, on May 21st, I'm, I'm, at, not, at about 9.55, uh, you are ID'd as being in that vehicle. Mm -hmm. And that's the, day, that's the day and time of the shooting. 
The problem is, like you said, we have the car is listed to you. Mm-hmm. That's the first, know. the first problem. The car, the car is And then the out. second thing is he ID'd you. It, I could see if, like I said, if you had, like, if the, you know, because we do have some, but you have some very distinct things going on with you. You kind of see what I mean? How many other people have a Joker tattoo on the side of their neck that looks, you know what I mean, and your hair is longer? I mean, you kind of see what I'm saying? I mean, we're just trying to figure out why. If this is just a, a lapse, a lapse that's, of judgment. That's the only thing we want to know is why, what, precipi- what precipitated the incident of the shooting. That's, that's what we want to know. From from your opinion, I we got it. We got it. We got the victim statement. We want to know what, what happened exactly. Was there some buddies in the car with you? Possibly. Does there, there's you got a buddy that has a tattoo like that was driving your car, or did you loan it to somebody? Or no, I ain't got my car. I'm saying my my car got got stolen. But was it was the column peeled? Did they how did they take it well, with? Was the column peeled? Like, did they steal it? Like, by peel, breaking the column? How were they driving? How, how did they drive? The how did they steal the car? No, they had they had my fucking keys and shit. They had your key. Come on, come on. No, it just my my, my dumbass left the car on and shit. So you left the car on? Yes, it already happened. Like with a car before that. I had. And so you're saying somebody? So when you? When you got the car back, how did you drive it off then? If they had your key, it was everything in the, in the car. Everything was in the car was open. I just didn't have the the money that I had in there. I didn't have no money. It was all. It was the all. keys were still in the car. They were just in the where'd car. You, where, where'd you get this car back at? Mm-hmm. Where'd you, you on the on the north side? Where on the north side? Did you by get by Fifth, Fifth and all there Holton. So the car was on Fifth and Holton. Uh, Holton and Fifth don't cross really. So. Where were you at? Hmm? Where were you at? Where was I? Uh, you said you're on Fifth and Holton. Because Holton goes the same way as as Fifth Street. They kind of yeah. go the same way. So it have there has to be a cross street. I, think just, I, I don't know a lot about the the east side. Got gotcha. you. side, you know. Yeah. I know it was on Fifth, and I think it was by Holton. Close to where you were at today? Hmm. Nah, nah, not close by where I was. Well, you were close to today. I know, but not. But Holton is close. Well, to, where is? Because you're saying Holton runs really far east, while you said Fifth and Holton, and those two streets don't meet. Well, it, it was by Fifth. Fifth Street. Yeah. We're on Fifth Street. I, I want to try to co- I want to try to confirm what Holton. you're telling me. By, I can by Holton or street close by there, Holton. Okay, I'm trying to. Well, this you're giving me some information. I yeah. can't verify the information if you're giving me information that there's absolutely no way I can verify that because Fifth and Fifth Street and Holton do not do not cross anywhere. It was it was by fifth. I don't know if it, if it was right halt some or. All right, I'm just going to stop. But your story doesn't it doesn't uh, what you're saying doesn't make sense. It it doesn't make sense. How about we do this? I'm to say, like I didn't, I don't have nothing to do. Okay, he okay. he ID me or something, but that's his war against against mine. I know he Great. he probably yeah. I he say he he saw me. He ID me. Yeah, the car's under my name. Everything was on the car. But you realize we show a lineup with like six different people. We show a lineup with just not you. We show a lineup with a bunch of people. We show him each thing. He's like, boom. He's like, that's the dude. Like, bam. I mean, it, there was no he- there's no hesitation here. There's no hesitation. What I'm saying is we show him a bunch of different, we show him a, di- a lineup with different people. You kind of see what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm not trying to lie to you. I always say honesty is the best policy, but that's my personal opinion. It goes very far with me. If you're honest, maybe work with something, see what's going on. But when it, this story just doesn't jive. So I don't know. You want to give him a cigarette, let him chill for a minute, and maybe think about it? That's fine. You want a cigarette? Yeah. All right. We'll get you one. But we're going to step out because I can't take it. I can't take yeah. it. In. All right? All right, just hang tight. I, I just want to, I'd, I'd like to talk to you, but when I, when I feel like somebody's not telling me the truth, I can't. Uh, no, pull that necklace off. I didn't even realize you had a necklace on. So put that in the back, mm-hmm. please. Hang on. Oh. I don't, got, I, don't, I don't have like a specific, I think we have like Newports, all right? Okay? Huh? Like a Newport, yeah. It's a uh, best one. <laughs> all right. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm going to put it back. Any other jewelry? Any other piercings? No. All right. Oh. Uh, let me get it back. Let me get it back. You good, Chips? You good? 
I got to, if I can find something better for you substantially because I understand you haven't eaten in a while. I'll, 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 let, I'll let you up. All right. Give me one favor, though. Dump a little bit of that water in there, okay? You get a half in there. Dump a little bit of your water in there. Acid in there, please. Just don't acid on my floor, okay? Yeah. All right. Back a little bit, okay? Safe. Hmm? Safe. Yeah, asthma. I can't take that. I'm just gonna put it out here. Back to asking, say, um, back to asking the same questions. Uh, you ready to tell, tell us what happened exactly? I really didn't do nothing. I ain't mean no sound. I ain't shot nobody. And they should, they should have video. Both of them districts should have video of me going in there. Well, I mean, think about it. Even, even if they do, that's fine. But the problem is this. No, but then the person, like, the, the well, person identifying you as the person driving the car. It's weird to me. Like I said, he, he saw the tattoo, the hair, everything. There was in there. Well, tell us who was that, or who was. I mean, he gave us a weird story, dude. He said he found your car with the keys in it. It's not. It's not the first time. No, first, 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 I'm not first, saying. First, I said you know. left. You locked. The car was taken with the key in it. Then you got it back with the key in it. I mean, think think about it. you telling somebody somebody steals your car. How how common do you think it is for somebody to take a car, right, to steal a car, and that to leave the key that starts the car inside the car while they're doing whatever they're doing? It happened to me before, like four years ago. I had a Honda. I left in the gas station, just like that running. Somebody took it. Mm, like three days after, I found it. With the keys in it. It was, it was completely mad because he was complete. But the kids weren't there. Here's and, the thing. And, and they, they, and, and I found, and, and I found it in the uh, hotel. Here's the problem. Why would you leave your car running? Because I, I was only going to a house to get something coming out. Like it's not the first time I do it. What was your, what was your car stolen then? The first time. From a uh, yeah. parking from a. Uh, Thirty first and Scott. So right. both times your car was taken from 31st and Scott with the keys in it, and you got it back. No, no, he only got stolen one so time. Was the second, I still got the keys of the car because mm -hmm. they, they told that car second time. It, it was on, on the police who took it. We told it. We have it. Actually, I told it. Yeah, he told it. We got it. Um, how do you know? The, how do you know we told it? Hmm? How do you know we told it? Because they told me. Who told you? One of my, oh my guys and stuff. Okay, you, let me tell you how I know you're full of shit right now. I'm going to tell you how I know you're full of shit right now. Because you just said you thought the car was stolen again. So I'm done talking to you because you're just going to keep lying to me and talk. Stop. That, that, Stop. That, let me that, hear me hear me out first. You, 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 told, you, told, you can't even keep your story straight right now. You already told me you thought the car was stolen the second time. But you just said you, you guys told you that it was told. So st please Stop. It, it, just tell me the truth, man. Please stop with the nonsense. Please. I mean, I don't have no say about what I said. Is right. gonna st you're going to stick to that story. Right. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you for a minute. Let me talk to you for a minute here. Here, I'll let you. You got to speak. Like I said, like I was trying to tell him, he gets a little upset. No biggie. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. But I'm just tr I'm trying to explain to you, dude. You know, I think it would look better if I had a reason. Do you kind of see what I'm saying? I mean, give me kind of a weird story. Do you kind of see what I'm saying? 
I could maybe see if somebody took your car and we didn't have a positive ID of you by the person that you shot at. And I mean, they were like 100%, you know what I mean? I mean, they were so, and you know, they were right, that, that's the issue I have here. If, some, if, you, if you went to me and said, hey, hey dude, my car got stolen, I don't know who took it, and then they, they, the guy couldn't identify, but it was listed to you and we charged you with something like that, then I could see you say, hey, my car got stolen. But you see what I mean? We have that magnitude with the positive identification. That's all I'm saying, man. And what I'm saying is, I always look at it as honesty, the best policy. If I can go and tell the district, hey, he was being honest with you, is he being honest with you? Well, then when you come with these stories, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't look the greatest. You kind of feel me or no? I know, but I'm, I'm saying, like, my car did got stolen. Yeah, I know that, but do you like, seem like a cool not, guy? Like, it's, it's not the fir first time, like, I understand. It's, it's saying, sorry, my car got, got stolen like that. It's not the first time I leave my car yeah. home. I understand. Is it because you don't want to get somebody else in trouble that was in the car? I could care less who else else in the car. If you were in the car with somebody, you know, did this dude cut you off and tick you off? Or did this guy, did he pull a gun out? Or did he do something to you? Like cut you off or do something that aggravated you or upset you that you had to do? You know what I'm saying? Was there anything? I mean, do you, do you kind of see what I'm saying? It just seems like a weird story. But the thing is that if I go twice to the district, Try to report my car. Mm -hmm. How's that? Y'all not gonna take my report because the car supposed it's not under my name. Well, the car's got to be in your name because when we ran it, it, it is under your name. name. And that's what that's why that's why I was trying to explain to a dude on this street, and I think his name was Officer Kako. Yeah. the one that I, that I spoke to. I I know a lot of officers in District Two, and. What is that, District 6, the other one on Oklahoma? I don't know, whatever it is, I don't know. 27. On 27 at Oklahoma. Those are all yeah. I went. Yeah, where have you been all this time? Same place y'all call me. On 1st Street? I mean, like I said, doesn't that look bad? You didn't I mean, you're, you're saying you didn't have an attorney, but you have a right to have an attorney. They would, they would appoint you an attorney if you can't afford one. I mean, the court system would help you out with that. So if you're really thinking that you're innocent, see, it doesn't look good in your eyes or in my eyes because you were gone. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you're talking about you were gone a long time. We ain't talking about like a couple weeks here where you would voluntarily turn yourself in and say, hey, I'm here, but I didn't do that stuff. I mean, you were gone and like, I mean, for a long time, <laughs> for a long time. Like six months. Yeah, six months on the run. You know what I mean? For, now, if it was me, and it was me, and I didn't do something, or I thought I didn't do something, or I didn't do something, I was adamant I didn't do something, and I was being charged some, I would turn my, I'd voluntarily turn myself in. Do you see how bad it looks magn magnified with the incident and on top of this and trying to run? Trying to, yeah, trying I know, to. I know, I mean, everything looks worse. Yeah, it looks I, real bad. I mean, being on. Yeah, it looks real bad. I mean, you saw your stuff plastered on the news. What'd you think about that? Crazy. That's crazy, right? But you feel me, dude? I mean, we, like I said, the dude picked you out. And I'm not trying to lie. I'm not lying to you. I'm trying. I try to be a straight shooter with you. I'm trying to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm trying to be honest with you. To me, the way I look at it, honesty is the best policy. That's the way I look at it. If you did something, whatever, maybe a lapse in judgment, because you seem like a real calm guy. You don't seem like a guy that's all, you know what I'm saying? You seem like a real relaxed kind of dude. Real polite, you're real nice, you're real polite. No issues, you're real respectful. That's what I'm saying. Was it a lapse in judgment? What's going on? I, I don't know. Do you know this guy? No? I don't know that guy. So I'm saying I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on? I know y'all accusing me of something that I'm shooting up, obviously. Yeah. But we're not... We're not accusing you. We got some pretty concrete evidence. That's what the scary part is. Now, how would it look if I could go and say, "Hey, this is what happened. He's being honest. He's being, you know, he was real honest with me." You kind of feel me or no? Do you kind of see where I'm going with this? That's the way I look at it. I mean, it always looks. Then the judge says, "Oh man, he was being honest. He kind of told us what happened." You know, just trying to figure out what's going on because I'm not buying the whole stolen car thing. I'm just not buying it. Yeah, I know. You know, because MPD takes stolen auto reports all the time.
they but take that's it. What I'm saying. Yeah, like, even if the they, car wasn't they, in your name, they, they would take it. They should have it. They yeah. gotta have them videos yeah. of me walking yeah. in. But that doesn't video doesn't tell me anything. That just tells me that you're at a police station. Do you kind of see what I'm saying? I need mm -hmm. something like if you would go to me and say, "Hey, my car was stolen. Two days, you can pull up the cat. I reported to MPD on this date, and I can go and pull up their cat. They have what's called a reporting system, and I can go and say, "Hey, wow, he, he's telling the truth." You know, but I, I did one and reported. You know, like they 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 had they gotta have and I, I'm saying that officer name he has yeah, Kako, okay. officer Kako was the one who took, who took my, my information and told me, we're sorry, we cannot do nothing because the car, it doesn't come up under your name, nothing, if you got anything. Yeah, but and they use the same system we do, and we ran it, and it comes to, it registers that, that to you. That means that I brought them a parking ticket where it had the V number on it, mm -hmm. and they still told me the same thing. Like, car is not, like, we cannot find it. Like, it's not mm -hmm. under your name, we cannot find car under your name on on the on that description mm -hmm. that I gave them. And do you think? Uh, what do you think about the whole another male matching your description with a tattoo on the side of his neck on the left side of his neck would be driving your car? I mean, don't you think that's pretty far fetched? Doesn't that seem kind of like way out there? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what you're, I know what you're saying. You kind of see what I mean? So. I'm going to step out one more time, and I'm really going to give you a chance because I'm not going to come here too much more. You know what I mean? I'm, I, you got to really think about what you're doing. That's all I'm saying, man. you got to really think about it. I always say honesty is the best policy. That's my personal opinion. I'm just telling you. You know what I mean? If there's something happened, I really think you should be honest with me and kind of tell me what happened. You know? I think it would look better. That's my personal opinion. You know? It always looks better. Because I have a lot of evidence. That's all I'm saying. So, all right. You, you, you hear me? Okay. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to think about that. Okay. Because I'm only gonna come here one more time. All right. Okay. All right. Hang tight. Hey, Jamel. Jim. 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 I apologize. I like you. I like to have my name. Pronounced right on to be able to explain people's names probably myself, so that's why I keep asking. All right, um, I'm sure my partner spoke to you about last. And, uh, did you uh, did you think about what we were talking about? So what's the deal? You got nothing to say. If it happened, well, we have, we have what, um, what the camera sort of camera angle show us. What the uh, the victim witness explains what happened. Uh, picked you out of a lineup. Um, your vehicle was not in the system; it was being stolen. I and it's just to let you know, it's a common thing that people say. Uh, we, my car was my car was stolen. I I tried to report it. I actually I, I hear that a lot. I'm not you know. You, you're telling us that you have to understand how it's it's hard for for us to believe the way you're telling us that it happened the way you're telling us it happened. Understand? Um, you was, they noticed the the victim noticed a distinctive characteristic on you when when uh, when the shooting happened. Uh, your car was not reported stolen. He he then identified you after we uh, showed him a lineup. And there's there's can't be any more really cut and dry than that. All right. All right, man. All right. Well, good luck, man. Okay. All righty. Um, we'll take you over in a little bit. Yeah, we got to get some paperwork together and I'll take you across the street. Do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, you still got water. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll be in just like five minutes. All right? All right. You got nothing else on you, right? Hmm? You got nothing else on your in your pockets, anything like that? No. Eh, they did their best. A jury convicted Jumwell despite his freshly cut hair, and Jumwell was sent to prison for six years. In the end, 
Everyone involved has a story to tell and no one got hurt.